Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since we've had an offbeat video, but we got a lot to talk about. Before we get into it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, let's get right into the video. So if you haven't heard already, eight days before the draft, we have our first big trade. The Dallas Mavericks are trading for Houston Rockets forward Christian Wood and are sending over Boba Marjanovic, Marquise Chris, Trey Burke, Sterling Brown, and the 26th overall pick in the 2022 draft coming up in the next eight days. The big star from this trade is Christian Wood. Christian Wood is going to Dallas, and a lot of people may not be familiar with Christian Wood's game. He's been on the Houston Rockets for the past two years, and the Houston Rockets, they're my team, but, but we've been asked. Like, we, we've been asked. I feel it. I understand it. But look, Christian Wood is a 6'10 forward slash center who can shoot the three ball, has a lot of offensive game, fits the offensive description of what the game is today, having the ability to space the floor, and also being able to go get a bucket as well. What a common stretch big but he can shoot the three ball and he can also put the ball on the floor and get you some buckets here and there i think that over the past two years he's been a 17 and 10 guy and i think that what you add in with the mavericks offense it's only going to bring out the most out of christian wood i think luka Doncic is one of the best floor raisers in today's game jalen brunson if are able to keep him i think that he's also a great piece as well tim hardaway jr is coming back from injury you have a lot of three and d guys on their team already and i think that christian wood is a perfect piece to add in with luka Doncic when you talk about the pick and pops that they can do you can talk about the fact that they can feed it to the post and they can run some actions in that in that area as well I don't think Christian Wood is the move that's going to put the Mavericks over the edge next season, but I think that it gives them much more versatility on offense. When you look at who the Mavericks have so far, Dwight Powell, great player, cool player. I got forced on the great. I ain't like he ain't great player, but he's all right. He's not a guy that you really that you're threatened by on offense. And Maxi Kleber, who I think is a good three point shooter. Besides that, I don't think he's giving anything else on offense. I think that what you had in Christoph Porzingis beforehand, he may not have been a piece that you may have needed, but I think Christian Wood is a guy who can also do similar to what Christoph Porzingis did. But you're getting a guy who's in a contract year who has to make the most out of this year. When you look at Christian Wood over the past few years since he's been in the NBA, he's been from team to team. Sometimes it's been the teams that he just couldn't play with, and sometimes it's just been those teams are going in different directions, like the Houston Rockets. But I think that in a contract year, in a Jason Kidd system that relies on having great offensive players, but also playing hard on defense, Christian Wood is going to have a good year. And I think that's what we want to see from Christian Wood. So for the Dallas Mavericks, I love it. I think that you guys added a piece that can also help you guys next year. But do I think it puts you guys over the champions? I won't push it that far, but I think that it helps you guys out. From the Rockets standpoint, it's interesting. As a Rockets fan, like I said before, I love my team. I'm happy we traded Christian Wood, but I do think that it's to be determined on how this trade goes. When you look at what we got back, the only player that I really care about is the Mar Boba Marjanovic because I ain't gonna lie, he's funny. I, I rock with Boba Marjanovic, he's cool. But I'm more so concerned about the 26th pick. When you look at the Rockets, the Rockets are the worst team in the NBA. They have the number three pick this year and they have the 17th pick this year as well. They're trying to get players that can help them in their rebuild. And I think that this trade is just smart. When you look at who they have, Jalen Green, who many people were sleep on, I told y'all about him, go check out that video. Jalen Green showed that he could be one of the best shooting guards in the league in the near future. And his performances after the All-Star break just showed that kpj's improvement over the year was highlighted and i'm sorry to say but christian wood a great player but the best moments of kevin porter jr and jalen green together were when christian wood wasn't on the floor you also got to talk about the fact of operating shangun who many people have been praising and i, I love look i love shangun that's my guy and you look at the advanced analytics Shangu's one of the few post players in today's game not rookies where if he's in the post he generates a lot of points assists gets to the free throw line you look at the advanced metrics he's one of the best post playmakers and players in the game right now and now that spot now opens up for him to where he can shine and the rockets can see what they have in alpha shangun we're talking about uzman garuba who didn't get to play a lot of minutes last year he gets more touches and more opportunities to play and to, like i said before the number three pick regardless if they get paulo mancaro or jabari smith or if they get shed holmgren it fits into what they're trying to do you can it all fits seamlessly in what they're trying to do and i want to mention as well eric gordon who's on the team right now the rockets are still looking to move him and get a first round pick so i like what the rockets are doing my only thing is with the 17th and the 26th pick that they have i would expect them to move up into this year's draft if they don't move up i think that if they move up they can go up to maybe trade up with a team like the wizards maybe trade up with a team like the knicks i know the packages aren't clear yet but i think that, that should be what the rockets are trying to do in this year's draft last year they were able to trade up with the okc thunder and get out for the shangun and i think that this year is just important as well because at the end of the day the rockets are in a situation where they're trying to acquire talent they're not in a situation that requires them to be looking to win games immediately because at the end of the day the team is still not there yet it's acquiring assets acquiring talent and i think in this trade even though they lost christian who i think is one of the better players on the team they've opened up so many opportunities for the younger players that they have which is a plethora of them to see what they can do i think that you give the keys to jalen green early because if you're trying to see that he's a franchise player you have to see that as soon as possible and i think that jalen green can do so kevin porter jr is in a contract here what can he do jay sean tate as well there's so many mouths to feed on the rockets 
that a trade, a Christian Wood trade was inevitable. I just didn't know what was going to happen, but it happened, so it is what it is. To quote, sum it up on the, on the Rockets side, I like it. I like what Raphael Stone, the general manager, did, and I think that regardless of how you look at the trade, being in a situation where you have more assets is always important. Even if they have the 26th pick and the 17th pick and they don't use it, the opportunity is there for them to go ahead and move up. You rather have a lot of, you rather have the assets to move up than not being able to move up. So I, I like it. I like what the Rockets have done. I think right now, for what the Mavericks gave up to get Christian Wood in a contract year, I, I think it's an, an A minus. I think that he fits the mode of what you're trying to do. People may say he's a Christoph Porzingis, and that's fair. People can see the similarities, but I think that Christian Wood is more so a guy that can help them on offense a lot more than Christoph Porzingis. And I think that at the end of the day, they still have Spencer Dinwiddie. They're able to keep Spencer Dinwiddie who helps them out, and they have Chris and they have Christian Wood. And I think it's a guy who again can space the floor, put the ball on the floor as well. There's so many opportunities for Christian Wood to just show out and improve his game. At the end of the day, Christian Wood was playing on the Rockets, and I love the Rockets, but Jalen. Green, Kevin Porter Jr. are not the greatest point guard playmakers right now. They could be in the future, but now he's going to be playing with Jalen Brunson and Luka Doncic. And I think that Luka Doncic with Christian Wood and Jason Kidd as the head coach, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I think that the Mavericks, this is a step in the right direction. I love it. I think it's a great trade, A-. minus For the Rockets, right now, I think we're looking at a B, maybe a B-. minus. We don't know what's going to happen going forward. And I think that, again, the, the main goal was to get assets and see what you can do with your assets. If they get these assets and nothing really pans out, then I'm not too sure. I mean, it's not, it's not something I could just sit up here and be a fanboy about. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, the work has to be done, but I like what they've done. And depending on how the draft goes in the next eight days or a week from now, or maybe three days, whenever you're watching the video, I don't, I don't know how YouTube does it. Regardless of when the draft happens, it's going to be interesting to see what the Rockets do. They have a lot of cards in their deck, so they can see what, they have a lot of moves that they can make. But you guys tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys think that the Mavericks jug the Rockets? Do the Rockets make the right decision? Or do you not give a f you know, some people don't. You know, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. But again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and make sure you tell your friends about the channel so we can go ahead and get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's the goal. You feel me? But until next time, stay on beat.